Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Summer's Car. My name is Becky. This is Summer, and we are so excited that you're here today. We are going on a little girls' trip this morning. It's just for the day. We're not staying long. We're going to go um, to a couple of antique stores and some thrift stores. Summer, I believe, she can tell me for sure. You're looking for jewelry? Yes. Summer's looking for jewelry. She likes to she's got all of her ears pierced on both sides up here from top to bottom side to straddle i mean all of <laughs> she's got her she's got holes everywhere in her ears <laughs> so she likes to find little vintage baubles and things to hang from her hoops and different things she likes to play around with that and then i'm looking for some vintage easter because it's time to start set a uh, dress dressing it's time to start decorating the house for Easter it is officially well today's the 29th of February but in our hearts it's March 1st <laughs> so it's March now and it's time we've got to start thinking about Easter because Easter is going to be here before we know it so I thought that what I would do is you know during Christmas I wanted to go back to the old school way of decorating with the colored lights and the, all the colors and just kind of make Christmas fun again. So I think I'm going to do that with Easter this year. I'm going to bring in all the bright colors. Fingers crossed it'll work out. But I'm just looking for some new pieces because so much of my Easter decor is muted and modern and white and which is fine. I'll add that in there too. but. I want some fun, bright colors for Easter. So we're going to take you along with us and let you just kind of hang out with us today and see what we can find. And I also have a Timu haul with some really cute vintage inspired pieces that I think you might like. Um, I want to go ahead and get that out there. So if you guys want to order it, you can because it does take about eight to ten days for Timu to ship. So, all right, you ready? I'm very ready. Let's go.
Okay, everybody, we're on our way home. We had a full day of antiquing and we went to a couple thrift stores, but our day got away with us. We had a big lunch and that took priority and <laughs> took up a lot of time. <laughs> so anyway, I do have some things that I'm gonna show you, but I'm not gonna show you that now because I wanna do a big Easter haul. And it won't be, probably won't be this afternoon. It might be, tomorrow is Friday, I get off early. I might do it after I get off work tomorrow and put it all together for you. But we did find some things that were not Easter related. And I'll show you what we got. First thing Summer got, I'll show you her haul here. She got two books. She got Macbeth. And this book is pretty neat because it tells you on one side, it's been well used and well read because it's got all kinds of little notes in it. But one side is Shakespeare's version. And then the other side is in plain English so that she can understand what she's reading. And what did you say, Summer? Why did you, you were buying these books? Because why? I just clicked. But you, you told me about you wanted to understand Romeo and Juliet. Oh, yeah. I wanted to actually be able to understand it. So, I bought Shakespeare for Dummies, basically. Shakespeare for Dummies is what it is. And then this one is Oliver Twist. And she just thought this was so the back neat. There's the back. It's pretty cover. Pretty illustrations. She just really liked this. There's the spine. And then the last thing she got was a little jewelry box to sit by her bed and it is in rough shape right now because it's covered in hairspray but I think we can clean it up for her and we'll show you an after there's before and we'll show you an after with it with it all cleaned up but she takes her jewelry off at night before she goes to bed and can put it in there and then this is just a little picture frame it was a dollar 99 I picked that up I, Lily gave me a picture of her and Tanner and the frame is just too modern for my home, so I picked this up for that picture. It just needs to be cleaned up. And then the final thing I'm gonna show you, it, it's, it's been a long time since I've seen something, and my I, just, I stopped in my tracks, and my mouth gapped open, and I lost my breath for a minute. <laughs> it's been a long time. You know, as far as like, things in the store. I do that when I see David all the time, right? <laughs> she said gross. But I found this and I paid too much for it. But look at this. Is this not so neat? I'm hiding Summer's face. Is this not amazing? It was, how much was it Summer? 35. It was $35. She saw it first and she said, Mom's gonna love that. And then I came around the corner and it in my basket it went and I am so happy. I told her, I said, I did ever pay pay for it, but the reaction that I had to it when I seen it, I just I couldn't I couldn't walk out of that store without it. I just couldn't. It is it was worth every penny. It's the colors of my soul. There we go. Alright, so that's your mini haul. I'll touch base with you tomorrow and we'll do our Easter haul, our full Easter haul with all my Timu stuff um, and then all of my thrifted stuff that I picked up. So it's not huge, it's, it's, it's not a lot, but it's, it's a little bit I want to share with you. All right, Summer, tell everybody bye. Bye. <laughs>
All right, so we're gonna do our Easter haul. This is just a collection of things that I have picked up throughout the year um, through stores. I did buy a few things from Timu I wanna share with you and maybe a couple of retail box stores, but not a lot of that. But first thing we're gonna share is I had some friend mail from my friend Julia. Now I shared with you all of my scrap, scrap brick, scrap, <laughs> scrap brick. <laughs> Scrap, fat. what did I say today? Turn the volume, what no, did I say? you told me to knit slowly, but you said to... No, that's not what I said. I, I'm mixing my words up bad today. Scrap fabric, I have this, and Julia sent me some more, and I have a project in mind, and that may be the next video that you see. I've got two Easter DIYs that I wanna share with you, so make sure that you have liked and subscribed so you can tune into that because that's coming up next and you're going to be able to see all these beautiful fabrics so that's first timu i said what slow starly i was trying to say stir slowly and i said slow starly slow <laughs> some scraplets here <laughs> scraplets anyway i ordered some things from timu and this is the rug that I got for my front porch. I thought it was cute and vintage. There was not a lot to choose from, in my opinion, for the vintage style. It was a little, they were more cutesy, which is fine. Um, but from the look that I was going for, I just like the little chicks. I love this one with the little blue bonnet. So that's for my front door. And then let me get my little, Timu back here. This is not sponsored. This is just stuff I bought because I like it. I got four pillowcases and I have, I usually keep two to three pillows out there. So I'll probably just do two if this is the route that I'm going with them. But these were about $10 for four. So I'll just pick two this year and maybe use two next year. There's that one. And then we've got the little bunny treats. And then this little guy right here says honey bunny. And last one, I think I like this one the best. He's just a cute little vintage Peter Cottontail. So we've got some pillowcases for the bench. Are you gonna sing through my video? <laughs> Let me show you who I'm talking to. <laughs> She's interrupting my my little thing here okay and we just did a diy for her wedding vlog and you probably won't see that for a little while because we're doing like an accumulative collection of all the activities and then i'll put them together in one this little guy right here i thought was interesting he's like a little squeaker toy hold on he's in two different bags here but I thought he looked very vintage and I thought he would be cute on my tear tray. We're going with a different look this year for Easter. It's going to be more vintage inspired because I don't have a lot of vintage, but I'm, I'm trying to add, I'm, where's Daisy? She's going to eat it. Daisy. I'm trying to add in more vintage to my, um, that might've been a dog toy. We didn't leave her outside, did we? No, I brought her in. She's in. And then I got these little fabric colored eggs. They came in a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six. And I didn't pay very much for them. I wish I had ordered more actually. I, I like those a lot. And I got two, is she here? Okay. I got two flags for outside. This one says he is risen. I always put one by my mailbox and one by my porch. So we've got this one. There she is. She's gonna knock the camera over. There she goes. And then I got this one. It's not quite as good a quality as the other one, but it's still cute. Do you like it? Do you like it? He's upside down. Little rabbit. Little Peter Rabbit. Did you hear me calling you? 
And no, two more things. So I got these little wooden ornaments. I know you've all seen them. They are very inexpensive and they just are um, vintage images. I'll show you more closely when we're decorating the tree, but we're gonna do an Easter tree for sure this year. But there's just kind of a view in the bag. You can kind of see the bunny and some chicks and everything. They're real inexpensive. And then I got these two little metal pieces here. This one's more vintage. This is the look I'm going for this year. And then this one I just thought was really pretty. So um, it's still vintage, but I think this is gonna be the look that I wanna try to emulate. All right, that's everything from Timu. And then for big box stores, I got two things. And when I say big box, I mean Dollar Tree. But this little guy right here was only $5. Um, I don't know how well he'll stay on the porch with all these March winds that are coming through, but we'll try it. If not, we'll stick him on the inside somewhere. And then I got this roll of grass and maybe we'll do something fun with that. It was $5 too. That was in the plus section. Everything else is from a thrift store and we're going to start with these. These are Lily and Vernon. Um, I haven't opened all of them, but I'll just show you a couple real quick. They're just little wooden eggs, but they're the colors that I'm trying to bring back, the colors of Vintage Easter. And there's probably a dozen in here of these little wooden eggs. So I'm gonna do something fun with those. I'm not sure what yet, but they were, they were actually a little high. I, I paid too much for these. They were $7, but that is the price of the thrift stores nowadays. That is just what we do, <laughs> you know? This little guy right here was only $2 at the thrift store. He is from originally from Home Goods, I believe. He was only $2, but that's because he's broken. His little ear is broken right there, but I just thought he was cute. I love bunnies. And then this little guy right here was a dollar. I just picked him up because he was only a dollar. I can't tell where he was from originally, but I feel like it was from Michael's judging from the sticker on the bottom. And then this little guy right here was from either a thrift store, but yeah, thrift store, found him for $2.99. His sticker just fell off. He's a handmade, hand-painted piece, like studio pottery. And I love him, so cute. And then we got this little guy here at one of the antique stores. He's new as far as he is, um, modern, but I just thought he looked vintage. His colors, I thought he would go well on my tear tray. I think he may have came from Target originally. And I don't know, I don't just a couple dollars is what I paid for him. I got this yesterday when Summer and I were going to antique stores and thrift stores. I thought that would be pretty on a tabletop somewhere. It was $2. And then I got this little book. He was four dollars at the antique store. I like the colors and you know trying to bring in some vintage in the house and then I got these yesterday to go on my tree. They were ten dollars at the antique store. I haven't even tried them to see if they work yet. We'll have to test those out. If not then I got had. <laughs> I don't know. And then, so these next two items kind of go together. It's gonna to be part of our craft with me video that's gonna be coming up next. But I found this little tin here um, several weeks ago for $5 and I thought it looked spring-like. It's got a little cow on the top. And then I found this little guy right here at an antique store. I think I may have paid five or $6 for it. So we're going to make a little assemblage with that. So that's gonna be coming up in a future DIY decor, uh, craft with me videos. Make sure that you check that out. Look forward to doing that. So I've got to get a few things out of my bins. I've got them all pulled out of the, the room, the shed. Thank you, the shed. And I'm going to start Thursday decorating, Lord willing, and the sun don't, what, what is it? Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We're going to start decorating on Thursday for Easter. But this is my haul. I think that's all I have to share with you on this video. I don't think I had anything else to 
include. Do you want to come say goodbye since you've made a special appearance? Bye! Until next time, I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye!